Hello, welcome to how to solve this very nice algebra equation x plus 1 over x plus x squared plus 1 over x squared plus x cubed plus 1 over x cubed is equal to 6. We need to find all possible real values of x. So, let's start. First of all, we suppose that this x plus 1 over x is equal to n let x plus 1 over x is equal to n. Now, if we take square of both sides of this equation, then x plus 1 over x whole squared is equal to m squared and x squared plus 1 over x squared plus 2 times x times 1 over x will be equal to m squared. Now, this x will be cancelled out with this x and we move this 2 to the right hand side. Then this equation will become x squared plus 1 over x squared is equal to m squared minus 2. Now, if we take a cube of both sides of this equation, then x plus 1 over x whole cubed will be equal to m cubed. Now, by using this algebraic identity a plus b whole cubed is equal to a cubed plus b cubed plus 3ab times a plus b. This x plus 1 over x whole cubed will become x cubed plus 1 over x cubed plus 3 times x times 1 over x times x plus 1 over x is equal to this m cubed. Now, this x will be cancelled out with this x and in place of this x plus 1 over x, we put the value of x plus 1 over x. m from this equation. Then this equation will become x cubed plus 1 over x cubed plus 3 times m is equal to m cubed. Now we move this 3 times m to the right hand side then this equation will become x cubed plus 1 over x cubed is equal to m cubed minus 3 times m. Now, in the original equation, we replace this x plus 1 over x with this m and we replace this x squared plus 1 over x squared with this m squared minus 2 and we replace this x cubed plus 1 over x cubed with this m cubed minus 3m. Then this original equation will become m plus m squared minus 2 plus m cubed minus 3 times m is equal to 6. Now, we rearrange this equation, we write this m cubed first, m cubed, then we write this plus m squared plus m squared. In this 1m minus 3m will become negative 2 times m. In this negative 2, negative 2 we move this uh, 6 to the left hand side then this will become negative 6 is equal to 0. Next m cubed plus m squared minus 2m negative 2m minus 6 will become negative 8 is equal to 0. Now, because this 8 this 8 is same as 2 cubed. 
So we write this 8 as 2 cubed with this m cubed. Then this equation will become m cubed minus 2 cubed plus this m squared m squared minus 2m is equal to 0. Now by using this algebraic identity a cubed minus b cubed is equal to a minus b times a squared plus a b plus b squared. This uh, m cubed minus 2 cubed will become m minus 2 times m squared plus uh, 2 times m plus uh, 2 squared or 4. And from these two terms uh, plus uh, m squared minus 2 m, we can factor out m plus m as common factor and in bracket left m minus 2 is equal to 0. Now, this expression m minus 2, this expression m minus 2 is a common factor. So, we factor out this m minus 2. m minus 2 as common factor and in bracket left, in bracket left this m squared plus 2m plus 4 and this plus m. In bracket left m squared plus 2 times m plus 4 plus m is equal to 0. Next m minus 2 times m squared. This 2m plus 1m will become plus 3 times m plus 4 is equal to 0. Now, from here either this expression m minus 2 is equal to 0 or this expression m squared plus 3 times m plus 4 is equal to 0. From this equation we get the value of m is equal to 2. Now, because we are looking for real numbers. So, we see that the discriminant of this equation is less than 0 or greater than 0. In this equation a is equal to 1, b is equal to 3 and c is equal to 4. In discriminant d is equal to b squared minus 4ac and in place of b squared we write 3 squared minus 4 times in place of a we write 1 times in place of c we write 4 and this is equal to 3 squared is 9 minus 4 times 1 times 4 16 and 9 minus 16 negative 7. So, the discriminant that is also called delta is less than 0. So, no real solutions can be found from this equation. We accept only this value of m2. Now, recall that we have supposed we have supposed that x plus 1 over x is equal to m. We have supposed that x plus 1 over x is equal to m. So, we put this value of m2 in this equation, then this equation will become x plus 1 over x is equal to 2. And if we multiply both sides of this equation by x, this implies that x squared plus 1 is equal to 2x. We move this 2x to the left hand side, then x squared minus 2x plus 1 is equal to 0. Now, by using this uh, algebraic identity a squared minus 2ab plus b squared is equal to a minus b whole squared. This uh, x squared minus 2x plus 1 will become x minus 1 whole squared is equal to 0 and this 
implies that x minus 1 is equal to 0 and x is equal to 1. So, this is the final value of x, this is the final answer of this equation.